Bright, bold, and cozy as can be. That's how Airbnb host Odin Domingo describes his vintage trailer that sits in his backyard in central Phoenix. We just really wanted to take it around during the summer. And when it's not summer, it just sits there. So he and his wife decided to rent out the trailer they call Glamp Betty as an Airbnb. This cute travel trailer has everything, a small kitchen area, a coffee maker, and even a nice sign to greet guests. With Airbnb, hosts offer up rooms, whole houses, trailers, casitas, you name it. They tend to be cheaper than hotels and can offer something different when traveling. You stay here uh, for one, two nights and you're only paying less than $100 um, for a place that's going to be comfortable, a place that you're um, going to take pictures of, a place that's going to be memorable. Odin is one of thousands of Airbnb rentals across Arizona. Maybe a throwback trailer isn't your thing. How about this shipping container turned into a home in downtown Phoenix? Or this artist's haven complete with murals, abandoned cars, and an outdoor toilet? Feeling bougie? You can rent out this entire mansion at the base of Camelback Mountain for about 650 bucks a night. And it's not just Phoenix. Hop on the interstate and head to northern Arizona. There too you can find some really cool and unique places to stay. Imagine staying in a tree house in Prescott, or for the ultimate no-frills accommodations, a piece of land outside of Williams with a tent and a fire pit for about 25 bucks a night. Just because you're in northern Arizona doesn't mean you need to rough it. We found this gorgeous cabin in Pine Top a great way to take in some cool mountain air. Odin says wherever you land, it's all about giving guests something they won't forget. When someone visits Phoenix, we really want to show the city off. We want them to have a really good experience here. In Phoenix, Ian Schwartz for Arizona's Family.